Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video I will be doing a review on NARS Single Shadow in Lhasa. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. So it's not very often that I actually would devote an entire video just on one single shadow, but I think that this particular one from NARS' Spring 2012 collection definitely is worth the time and the effort to do so. So I did hold back from grabbing the shadow the very first time I came across it in spite of the rave reviews that I've seen regarding the shadow only because at first glance it really looks very typical shade, very dupable shade that certainly looks like something anybody would have in their collection. So obviously this is how NAR Single Shadows packaging come in. Um, this is how the product looks and it is a grayish taupe which is very very typical from a lot of different brands but the reason that I think this truly stands out is that it's the only taupe which has a lavender undertone to it which doesn't really veer towards charcoalish or a smoky gray and the best way that I could do this or to give you guys a better idea is to compare it to I think one of the closest things that I have to this shadow and one of the reasons why I actually held up on picking it up. This is Chanel's number 87 in taupe gris, which was a limited edition, I think, from fall 2010. So if you look at them side by side, they're very similar in terms of shading, but it is very evident even on the pan that the Nars Lahasa is a tad bit lighter than the Chanel. Now, when you swatch this in your hands, the difference in pigmentation doesn't really show. And typical with a lot of NARS shadows, no matter how much you swatch it in your hands, the way that it wears on your actual eyes is very, very different. It's not a true reflection of how it's gonna wear on your eye. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So on this, on my wrist, on the back of my hand, the difference in coloration is much more obvious in terms of the lighter shade and the darker shade. So these are both of them right here. And the darker one is Chanel Taupe Grey 87. But I have to warn you that these swatches, like I said, even the Chanel one, it looks very different when you have it on. The only shadow that I have on my eyes right now is the Nars Lahasa. And I'm just gonna, I hope that shows but I did not use any other contouring shade or anything like that. I just used the Nars Lahasa with my Inglot S6 brush, which is amazing for blending and getting in the crease. And I just built up the color and it's actually really amazing how it gives such dimension with just one shade, which is something that's very difficult to come by, I find even with a Chanel. Nars shadows are definitely in terms of quality pigmentation and the finish it gives are the best some of the best i would say in the market um the reason why i thought i would give a special review to nars lahasa is that i think a lot of people feel that it's a very dupable shade and i completely agree if you're just taking it from the perspective of looking at it from the pan. But when you actually try it on, it is an amazing shadow and it is definitely holy grail. It is a um, very neutral wearable gray that because of its lavender undertone, which I've never seen in other shadows before of the taupe category, it just is a fresher take on a smoky gray look for the day and on top of that the dimension it gives is amazing it's buildable but even if you build on it it doesn't veer towards a charcoal or ashy gray so definitely this is a shadow I highly recommend to everyone whether you collect limited edition items or you're a fan of NARS 
<clears throat> or you feel like you have similar shades, I can guarantee you that this is definitely a whole different level of taupe on its own. It's just very different. It's very refreshing take on the taupe. NARS shadows are definitely some of the best that I have in my collection and I have two right here that are part of my top 10 of all time. This is Bali and this is Galapagos which I'm sure a lot of you have heard of or actually even have and definitely NARS Lahasa is the newest edition, the newest addition, sorry, to my top 10 holy grails and it's definitely up there with Bali and with Nars Galapagos. Galapagos is legendary, but I think La Haza definitely will soon join those ranks. So I hope that was interesting and informative for you guys. I will be doing an, a few other product rave reviews in the next few videos. So thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening.